Chemistry is the study of the small and how it interacts, combines, and changes. In chemistry class, we have been studying the method of classifying substances as either acids or bases. However, in order to remain true to the scientific method, we must apply these theories in order to verify their validity in reality. Which brings us to the experiment at hand. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the nature of metal oxides, whether or not they are basic. The metal oxide we will be analyzing today is magnesium oxide. Theoretically, we can figure out the results of the litmus paper test without even conducting the experiment. We know that magnesium oxide is a metal oxide, but it is also a basic anhydride, meaning that when the metal oxide reacts with water, a base is produced. Thus, the final solution should be basic. However, to be sure of this, we must conduct the experiment. To do this, we will need a pipette, tongs, a magnesium roll, water, litmus paper, and a lighter. The process of this experiment involves flaming magnesium in order to create magnesium oxide, then mixing this metal oxide with water, and finally putting this solution to the litmus paper test. As we can see here, the litmus paper indicates that the solution is basic, and therefore our predictions, as well as the theory behind these predictions, are correct. In general, metal oxides are basic in nature. While conducting this experiment, the only complications that arose was a slight difficulty getting the magnesium to burn. The issue stems from the fact that enough energy must be added to the magnesium in order for the metal to overcome its activation energy and react with oxygen. Therefore, it is essential to keep applying heat to one area of the metal rather than letting it cool and form a charred and unusable piece. When enough heat is added, the magnesium will light effortlessly. The importance of metal oxides in our society is one that is shockingly vast. This is because metal oxides have very different electrical properties from metals, semiconductors, and insulators. And as a result, metal oxides are used in many different areas such as sensors, superconductors, magnets, and lighting. In relation to chemical sensing applications, the ability of metal oxides to change their electrical conductivity with the composition of the surrounding atmosphere has been known for almost 60 years. And as a consequence, metal oxide sensors have been produced at large to detect things like explosive gas. The fact of the matter is that metal oxides have these useful properties due to their basic nature. And with the help of chemistry, we have proved that this is true.